What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster for the PC. So I was fighting Bamoldars over and over again and I managed to get a Mithril Claw. You see 12% of the time the Bamoldars will have a Mithril Claw and you can steal it from them. It took me about I think about 15 battles or whatever to finally get one. Most of the time you stole potions from them. And the good news is you can just steal the item and then run. So you don't get any EXP. In this game level grinding is a very bad idea. Early on anyway. You want to save the level grinding for later. Anyway let's head to... Uh, this place over here. Duncan's cabin. What I'm to get here. Let's go inside. Hmm. What's that smell? There's the one item. This tea. It was his favorite. Okay, well no one's here. These flowers, he always liked these. Sure, we'll rest. Uh, you can also get two pair of mithril claws as well. Um, and the character um, that we get can dual wield. So you can dual wield claws, just like Yang from Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, Sabin. That's who we're going to be getting. Could Sabin, or S S Sabin, Sabin, whatever, be living here? Aha, who do we have here? Hey. Do you happen to know where I could find the man who lives here? Sure do. Left a couple day couple left a couple of days ago. Soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed. Headed up into the mountains. They say Duncan's son Varkus is missing too. I don't like it one bit. See, let's go back in here. Okay, no, okay, he's not here. I thought someone comes by with like a chocobo or something, right? Or am I losing my mind? Is it another area? I think if you like re-enter and keep entering, isn't there like someone supposed to have a chocobo to buy stuff from? I could be, I could be wrong about that. I think I am wrong. Cause I don't see anybody. Maybe it's another area later on in the game. Or maybe you gotta wait for a while? I don't know. Been a while since I played this. I'm not really... My memory's kind of foggy about that. I'm not sure. I guess I'll look it up and see if I'm right, right or wrong. I guess. I don't remember. Okay, maybe it's an area later on then. I don't think so. I looked it up. I couldn't find anything about it. So, anyway, let's go to Mount Colts. Wow, seriously? Run away. I'm not gonna, like I said, I don't want to fight enemies because I don't want to level, I don't want to level up right now. That's one thing I didn't like about this game as well is you can't really like level up at the beginning. Because you need to save your levels until later in the game. Mount Colts. There's four chests here.
And we got new to me here. Serpius. So Locke's going to be stealing most of the time. Uh, Edward, Edward's going to use Auto Crossbow. Because there's an enemy in this area that's immune to the poison. So I don't want to use Bio Blaster. And I will be fighting every enemy once. I'm probably going to flee from all the other enemies though. And boy do I love having the map. Man, I'll, I will say this guys. This, this is so much... This playthrough is so much better than my Game Boy Advance playthrough. Like I'm enjoying it a lot more. Like I said, I didn't really like the Game Boy Advance version. The music was terrible. If you guys have played the Game Boy Advance version, you know what I mean. There you go, you can steal a bandana. That's why I didn't kill him. Because I wanted to steal the bandana. I meant to use auto crossbow there. I always have better use auto crossbow because it's like way better. Hey, you can just have Terra defend if you want. Plus auto crossbow looks cool too. But Edgar's Edgar's usefulness will dwindle as he as we go through the game. He'll still be good later on, but he's not the best. Alright, I want to go down this way. And I will be cutting out random battles as well as if I've already showed the enemy before. And we get the main. I never know how to pronounce this, guys. Gouch. I'm not sure. Uh, gache. Main gache. But anyway, this weapon is very good because it boosts evasion. It also boosts your agility by four, which is insane. So, that's really good for Locke. Because he needs the agility to steal. So what I have on lock, I have Hermes Sandals, which gives him haste. Plus he now has agility boost. So he's going to be getting his turns pretty quickly and he'll be able to steal pretty fast. Now I don't know if I want more bandanas than just one. Let's see. Let's see if we can steal another bandana. Sometimes they have nothing as well. Like sometimes it'll say you can't steal anything or something like that. Okay, well I'm not getting anything. I'm just going to flee. We don't need any more bandanas anyway, but. Speaking of bandana, what does bandana do? Okay. I guess it is actually pretty good. Yeah, boost magic defense and defense, so actually it is pretty good. But I'm not going to go out of my way to get multiples. Okay, flood from that battle. Now this game is going to be a little bit difficult because we're going to be so low a level. Uh, whenever... Ooh, Gigas Club. Boost the wearer's physical attack power. So if you combine that with the Hyper Wrist. Edgar was doing 140 damage instead of 120. Uh, with the auto crossbow. But if you want Locke to attack, you can give it to Locke. And... Edgar's auto crossbow already does a lot of damage as it is. He doesn't really need a boost in damage with the auto crossbow. We got back attack, by the way. That's why I was taking so much damage. Let's 
get out of that cave. You fight those bandit or the whatever they are, the martial artists in that cave a lot of the times. But we have a new enemy here, Gorgias. And again, Edgar Auto Crossbow. I love Auto Crossbow so much. Even though machiner, 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 wow, machinery was not that great in Final Fantasy XV, I really liked using it. It was pretty fun. It wasn't very good though, like I said, but it was fun. There we go, Edgar leveled up level 9. Alright, cool. I'll take the levels when I get them, but I don't really want to level up too much. Alright, so we got two entrances here, and we also have a cliff down there as well. Let's try the other one. Not sure which one you're supposed to go into first. Okay, it's probably this one, so let's go in the other one. I want to make sure you get all the chests. Let's go down this way. Yeah, here we go. We get a tent. Now there is one other new enemy in this area too. Uh, we will be encountering that enemies. Um, what do we have down there? Like a shadowy figure. So much fun fleeing from every single enemy. Can't even play the game, literally. Just gotta flee. Okay, here's a place where you can use a tent or a sleeping bag if you want to. But I think I'll just use potions because they're cheaper. As for Terra's MP, I'm not really too concerned about it, honestly. She's only missing a little bit of MP anyway. Alright, here's the other new enemy, Trillium. Hey, you can still remedy from these things 12% of the time. I might as well level up Locke one more level before moving on, so I'm going to go ahead and fight one more battle. Because Locke's about to level up, so... Did I miss a chest back before? There's no way, right? How did I possibly miss a chest? I went in every direction. Well, I'll come back here if I have to. If I if I miss one, it, there might be one later on. I'm not sure. Yeah, the Trilliums can uh, poison you too. They have like a poison touch attack. Who is that? Let's follow him. Like, like a bunch of stalkers. Those Gorgias have an ability called Gore, which does a lot of damage. So, keep that in mind as well. All right, we want to quick save it here. Seven sent you, didn't he? All right, let's kick this. Kick this. Who are you? Seven, is he here? You were the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was? <laughs> what does it matter who you are? I have no intentions to surrender. Woe is the day you met me. It'll be the last day of your lives. Yeah, that's not going to happen, dude. And it's boss time. Against Ipoon times two. Or Ipoo times two. And Varka, uh Well, it doesn't say him, but Varkus. Well, 
We'll go ahead and steal from that poo first, and then we'll take him out with auto crossbow. That's an AoE. You want to use Cure to counter that a little bit. There we go. Now we can use auto crossbow. And we can just attack with a uh, lock. Do a good cure on the party again. Love auto crossbow. Alright, now we can take on Varkas. I want to steal from him first. Before weakening him down. Hopefully I can steal from him in time. There we go. Well, didn't, can't get anything good anyway. Does he absorb Bio Blaster? Let's find out. Nope, he does not. Can you steal anything else from him besides the... Oh, he does have multiple items. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, now it says nothing to steal. What the heck? It just said couldn't steal, and now it said nothing to steal. Let me try again. Wow, that's so weird. I like how Edgar puts on the suit when he uses Bio Blaster. Enough of this. I'll send you all to the great beyond. That's enough, Varkus. Var Var Vargas. Ah, uh, if it isn't Sabin. Why, Var Vargas? Why did you kill Master Duncan? How could you murder your own father? The fool snubbed me. His only son. He chose you as his successor. That's not true, our master. It's true and you know it. It's written in that ugly sneer across your face. He wanted you to be his successor. Not me. He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. I've got far more than just potential. Why don't you see for yourself? Blizzard Fist. Oh no. Getting knocked back. There goes Locke. And there's Terra. But Seven is fighting it off. Seven's a true warrior. True martial arts. Ah, Seven. My father was right to see so much in you. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together. And now fate will send you to the, your doom. Yeah, he starts out with Doomfist, you have a time limit. And you gotta do a Blitz command on him, which is Sabin's specialty. Get ready to join your beloved master. So you got time limit 60 sec uh, seconds. Oh, sweet, you can just... That's something new, guys. You don't even have to... You just use the ability now. Oh wait, I don't... Ah, uh, uh, oh crap, I screwed up there. I think I'll... Yeah, you still have to... The, okay, you still have to do it. Okay, I see. I thought I thought you could just like do it outright. That would have been kind of... There you go. So the... Commands get put on the screen. That's totally new. That was not in the original game. 
Trying to put an end to this. I need to use a Blitz technique like the master taught me. Select Raging Fist from the Blitz menu and then press left, right, left, and the confirm button. How to use Blitz. Select the Blitz command. When the command entry screen appears, input the command for the technique you want to use. On the command entry screen, input then put right, then left again. Finally press the confirm button to perform the technique. Nothing will happen if you make a mistake, so be careful. Select Raging Fist from the Blitz menu, then press left, right, left, and confirm. I was really confused about how to do this when I was younger. Like, I didn't understand how it... I didn't understand how it worked. I didn't understand how, what I was supposed to do. Even though it, told, it literally tells you what to do, I didn't understand it. I was too young and stupid, but I eventually figured it out. See, I had a lot of persistence when I was younger. I would, like, spend hours trying to figure things out. If I was stuck on something, I would literally spend hours to figuring it out. And I would not stop until I figured it out. So I remember spending, like, 30 minutes in this battle trying to figure it out. Even though it literally tells you how to do it. But when you're younger and you're not too smart or whatever... I couldn't like, my brain couldn't comprehend what I was supposed to do. Even though it's kind of obvious. You already learned that technique? Vargas. If only you hadn't been so consumed by pride. There we go, Vargas defeated. That's one thing that was bad about playing the games when I was younger. I didn't really understand a lot that was going on. Now everything's so easy for me now. It's just like, I wish I had played these games. Kind of wish I'd never played the games when I was younger because I was like really stupid back then. But, oh well. Just how it goes, I guess. But anyway. Once you know what you got to do, it's pretty easy. And just take him out in a couple blitzes. I really like how they changed Sabin up though. That's really nice. It's a nice change. How you can just like, you don't have to memorize the commands anymore. You just select the ability. And then you do the, it shows the command, what you're supposed to hit on the screen. And you just do it. That's how it should have been in the original game. Edgar, my brother. Brother? You're his twin brother? His brother. At first I thought you were another one of Vargas's bears. <laughs> you thought I was a bear? <laughs> I guess I'll uh, take that as a compliment. Anyway, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Saber Mountains. To the Returner's Hideout, no doubt. So, the wheels are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world would come to its senses. The way things were going, I was afraid of Figaro... I, would have, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. A means of striking back has presented itself. There will be no more playing lapdog to the Empire. I'm through with the, that act. Think a bear like me could be any, any help? Sabin, you join us? I think Duncan would rest easier knowing his training helped during peace to the world. Alright, well then, let's get going. Alright, so we get Sabin into the party. Let's go and equip him with the uh, Mytho Claws. I thought he could dual wield, but he can't. So let's give him the strength boosting stuff now. Because I don't think it really helps Edgar anyway. Plus those are meant for um, Sabin anyway. 70 strength already guys. That's ridiculous. The max is 99 I believe. 
There's the final chest right there, a tent. So I didn't miss any chests. We got all the chests. Alright. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.